Welcome to Voodoo Whiskey Gaming, and this is my Resident Evil 7 shirt that I got after playing and reviewing the game. Yeah. Well, whatever, I have it now, and it works out well because I want to do a spoiler talk about Resident Evil 7. And it's not necessarily a spoiler talk, but there are some things that I just want to put out there because, well, they need to be said, and they will be kind of spoiler-ish. So if you haven't played Resident Evil 7 and you intend to, you should shut off the video now. If you haven't played it and you don't give a damn, continue watching. If you've played it and maybe these thoughts have crossed your mind, continue watching. So the first is, let's just say it, Ethan is infected. It's the only thing that makes sense because the dude's hand gets cut off with a chainsaw and they staple it back on and he has full function in his hand for the rest of the game. Like, that's just not how anatomy works. The only thing that explains that is that he is infected. Maybe not to, like, the same extent as the Bakers, but he has absolutely got to be infected. I mean, chainsaw, chopping off hand, then later, full use of hand to reload his gun and just do anything else that you would do with your other hand. So that then leads to the question, like, are he and Mia still infected after he kills Evelyn at the end? Or does that, like, destroy the infection? Like, that injection he gives her in the neck at the end? Does that, like, destroy the infection overall and not, like, allow it to work on Ethan and Mia? Then you've got, like, the really important question of what the hell happened to Lucas? Let's first off address that... Well, Jack Baker says Lucas ain't a bad boy. That's bullshit, because he definitely murdered the shit out of some people. Like, he killed the dude up in the attic, and it sounds like that happened before he turned into, like, crazy psycho monster kid. Even though he's not really a kid, because he's, like, a balding 30-year-old man. But, like, what happens to him? Because he just fucks off. You don't kill him at the end. He just vanishes. So, like, where's Lucas? This needs to be addressed in, like, the DLC. Then you've also got the two, like, umbrella-related mysteries that I think need to be addressed. Like, why is the symbol now blue and white? That's weird, because Umbrella's symbol has traditionally been red and white, and since this isn't actually, like, a reboot or anything, what is up with that? And the reason I'm addressing this Umbrella thing is because... You get rescued by a guy whose name is Redfield at the end of this game, and there's speculation that it's Chris Redfield, but the thing is, he looks nothing like Chris Redfield from, you know, Resident Evil 1, Resident Evil 5, the upcoming movie. So, or Resident Evil 6. Let's not forget that. But, that's weird because he just calls himself Redfield, and there's speculation that it's Chris Redfield. Why is he working for Umbrella? I don't know, is this like some kind of new umbrella that's not like evil bioweapon manufacturing umbrella? I don't know. Like these are things that I am hoping will be addressed in the DLC. Now I normally don't get like the season pass and DLC, but I'm actually really interested in this one because I feel like, or at least I'm really hoping that it will start filling in some of these gaps. I guess that's where I'm going to wrap this up because I'm mostly just curious if like the DLC will take care of these. I really hope it does because some of these are kind of lingering issues in my mind. Still, I'm like playing, a, I've played two other games and these are still eating away at my brain, these questions. So hopefully they will get answered. And if not, I, I don't know how I'll feel about that. Okay, so in the comments below, have you played Resident Evil 7 and if so, did any of these things, like, boggle your mind and bother you as well? Please say yes. Please say I'm not alone in this weirdness. And as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. And if you like what I'm doing in general, share, subscribe. Have a good one.